This is the Northampton Conservation Commission meeting for the 10th of August, uh, 2023. I don't think I need to bother the standard opening statement, um, a group of volunteers that are responsible for open space and um, permitting according to the Wetlands Act and the Wetlands Ordinance of the city. Uh, today's agenda includes um, a uh, request for determination of applicability to determine if septic system installation and creation of a lawn within a buffer zone to wetlands is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act or the Northampton City Wetlands Ordinance, this on Old Winston, Win, uh, Wilson Road. Uh, we had another uh, hearing scheduled, but or an RDA scheduled, um, uh, or, or a, no, that was a hearing, a notice of intent. Um, but they, I understand, Sarah, they've requested a, uh, uh, a continuation to the next meeting? Correct. The uh, the applicant let me know at the last minute that he's in the Tetons. And right. not Very a <laughs> so we'll uh, first we had minutes um, from back in January uh, to approve. And the only uh, uh, tweak that I saw is um, there was a, 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 a typo but it was a minor typo. Um, it said uh, birth and south uh, rather yeah. than north yeah. and south. But uh, yeah. other than that, other yeah. than that, uh, it looked fine. Somebody want to make a motion to approve uh, uh, those minutes from January with that uh, edit uh, suggested? And, and oh. corrected already. So moved. Uh, seconded. Good and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Sarah, need a roll call? Okay. Uh, so roll call uh, since we are remote. Mason? Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. And Kevin? So now we'll move on to that uh, uh, first in today's only case, uh, an RDA for um, determine if, if the septic system installation is subject to the Wetlands Act or the Wetlands Ordinance. Uh, this an old Wilson Row um uh mr ewing i assume you're here to uh speak to us about that excuse yes, me the yes, agenda yes. calls for public comment oh good 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 uh, catch mm -hmm. good catch um uh we request public comment um if it has to do with the case that we're considering um today then we take that comment while we're considering that case. If it's a more general public comment, then yes, we take it at the beginning of the meeting. It is a general public comment. So good. It's actually a few it? questions. Sure. Ready? Can you give your name and address? Yes. Yeah. My name's Kimberly Lambert, and I live at 97 Pines Edge Drive in Northampton. I'm a property abutter of 196 Cook Avenue. And uh, I've been following the developments for a number of years um, at the Moose Lodge. I did have a question before I ask those questions about your committee. And are, do you have three missing members that are active on the committee? Or are you looking for new members of the committee because they are no longer active? We have... Uh... Uh, I, I think, Sarah, we still have an open space. I don't know if uh, there has been a nominee. Um, uh, yes, I don't know if anyone's working through the system, but there are six members currently sworn in. Two of them could not make it today. Okay, so the three members absent are not actively on the committee. Randy, Elizabeth, and Jennifer. Elizabeth? Elizabeth is not a member of the Conservation Commission. Okay, and Randy and Jennifer. Yes, they are. They are members of uh, of the Conservation Commission. Okay, active members of the Conservation Commission. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, my questions about Cook Ave. You're going to be getting documents if you haven't read them already, and. Um, some of my concerns about those documents are um, the traffic study that was done for Cook Ave does not include any observations about the 21 new parking spaces that will um, promote a lot of traffic on Cook Ave. 
And one thing, a little background on that is the neighbors on the Emily Lane, Hatfield Street, uh, Cook Ave and Pines Edge Drive have been lobbying the city, requesting from the city for quite some time, 30 years, for improved safety on Hatfield Street at that intersection. So that traffic study that was done that you have documents on is very important uh, to our neighborhood in terms of the safety of the intersection at Hatfield and Cook Ave. So I hope you will pay careful attention to that since it does omit the increased traffic with the 21 parking spaces for the paved lot. In addition, I, I, in I addition thank you for to your, the homes. I thank you for your comments, but uh, we invite public comment that addresses issues that are within our purview. Um, and All traffic right. safety is not within our purview. Our, our responsibilities are the State Wetlands Act or the City Wetlands Ordinance. Or, Very good. Or, open space management. So further uh, comments regarding the conservation of that area. All right, Kim, I would just point out that the, the Conservation Commission has just received an application for um, you know, a notice of intent. A hearing right. will be scheduled and the, the most appropriate place to address concerns about that project would be during that public hearing. Well, if a citizen wanted to contact the Conservation Commission, how would they go about that? Since there's going to be um, invasive Japanese knotweed plowed up there and moved around. And there's also markings where the parking lot is going to be at the edge on top of a brook on that property. It's been marked at the brook, not several feet before the brook. Yes. You could yes, sir, sir. comments by email in advance or you could present them at the hearing. How do I email? What address do I email to? You could email those to me. Okay, I hope you look at that carefully. That brook needs to be protected and that Japanese knotweed is not mentioned in any of the documents. I'm, I'm not sure the documents that you are, are referring to, but when we are considering the case, yes, we will look at the uh, the entire packet, which is often uh, pretty extensive. And we will at that time also uh, review uh, any public comments that have been made and submitted. So uh, that'll be the time. I don't know, uh, Sarah, if you have any idea approximate time frame for that hearing, um, but it's, it's not scheduled yet as far as I know. Uh, application has just been received, so it, nothing's been scheduled at this time. So please check that brook out and the border that has been marked when you go up there to look at the property. That's a very, very important you. brook. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. Now we will proceed with the uh, 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 septic installation, RDA. Mr. Ewing. Yes, hello. Um, so um, I don't know if some of you were Present at the last one, um, I was. Uh, we did this six weeks ago, um, and it was approved. Um, nothing has changed except that um, it was mistakenly the engineer who designed the septic system. It's an Elgin uh, septic system, and um, it's new construction. Um, so the Elgin system allows two feet of separation from groundwater to the uh, the bottom of the septic or uh, leach field. Um, however, it turns out that's only for uh, repairs, not new construction. So um, uh, Jim Gratian, the Board of Health, uh, rejected it. So, so we're back with the revised plan. Um, everything's the same except, so we have to bring in fill. And because of that, the breakout fill into the buffer zone um, has a little more than doubled. Uh, initially, it was approved for um, 411 square feet, and now that is going to be 949 square feet. Um, yeah, so it, on, on the uh, west side, it um, the breakout fill goes about 15 feet into the buffer zone. And you know that's tapered down, sloped 
down uh, from the from the hundred foot buffer line down. Um, and because we're bringing in more fill, it's it's spread out more. And on the um, west side, it would um, it would go into the buffer zone by about eight feet. And, and slope tape taper down into the buffer zone. Uh, the lawn space uh, that was approved that has not changed. That's staying the same. So that that's basically it in a nutshell. That that's what's different from the last time. That just so familiar. And uh, I I did talk to Jim and he he. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's already uh, spoken to Sarah. I don't know, but he he said that you know the rest of it looks good. That that was his only issue with the uh, plan. Yeah, I, John. My my question on this was that Jim had indicated that the the fill on the west side of the house wasn't necessary to meet mm -hmm. fill five. Mm -hmm. But you know everything on. So if you're looking at the house, everything on the right clearly is needed. To make that system function, but then the grading and the fill on the western side wouldn't be necessary. Um, yeah, not as far as uh, function goes. Um, basically, it's to um, just for grading purposes to make it look good to the eye from the road, like it's not a big mound in front of the house. And um, so, yeah, that's not. It's not 100% necessary for the project, really. Mm. So the uh, for the functioning of this the system, mm -hmm. I mean, because because our, our 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 dilemma about such things is if there's additional disturbance that um, is not necessary, mm -hmm. they look better. Uh, but if it's not necessary, mm -hmm. then uh, it it. it we're usually reluctant to say, "Oh, yeah, go go ahead and disturb um, additional area within the protected zone." Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah. I, I guess uh, how could that be minimal? Well, let me see first if other commissioners have questions or before I, I, I ask mine. One quick question: the uh, you said the uh, the requirement was two feet to groundwater from the bottom of the leach field for. Mm -hmm repairs but for new construction what is the uh, uh, four four feet four feet okay yeah that's the conventional uh uh depth i guess mm -hmm. okay yeah well the only problem would be the little bit that sticks over on the left side to the buffer zone because it's probably necessary on the right side and Lawn areas have already been um, last time we got that we went through this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't recall any improvement into the buffer zone on the um, on the left side, and that looks like not very much. It's the hundred foot buffer zone. Yeah, it it um, it's about eight, and we go extend eight feet by um approximately 40 feet just going by the scale yeah um uh, you know one inch is 30 feet on the on the uh, plan um so about eight eight feet by 40 i would say yeah. what is yeah. this what is this pad to be removed oh the, it, it used to be a driving range golf oh. driving range and uh so there's asphalt there from the old uh, T line. Um, oh, you're taking out a big area of asphalt. And yeah, maybe yeah. infringing feet in the. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never because um, I'm not looking at the uh, uh, at at the plans. Is was the asphalt within the protected zone as well? Um, part of it is, yeah. Oh, there you go. Whole thing is <laughs> in the reserve reserve area there. 
Oh no, that's yes. not even paved. Um, where's the paved area? I don't know if it actually shows it. Uh, I don't remember seeing it before, and I thought that's what that reserve area is. That's that has to do with the septic system. You have to have yeah, a reserve it, it, area for a septic system. Right. The uh, the pavement goes across where the house is going, you know, through the um, out of the buffer zone. Um, but it extends a little bit on either end into the buffer zone. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, it's like a long line of, of pavement, uh, but it basically goes goes right across where the proposed house is. Yeah, right across the Right across the and, building envelope. And how how deep is it? Is as wide as as deep as the house is or uh no, it's oh eight, eight or nine feet wide. But it's it's long, it goes across the whole buffer right, zone, right, buffer zone. right across um right across the building envelope. Okay. Um where right where the house is. Yeah. From runs from east to west. Okay. Um so it, and it extends on either end um, into the buffer zone. So we would um, basically remove that. Um, I guess you might call it an improvement. I mean, we could always leave it there. Do you know uh, uh, how much, uh, what what square footage of uh, current impervious surfaces in the protected zone that would be removed? Um, um, I would estimate um, on the west side, eight, eight by um, maybe 15, so maybe about 120 square feet. And um, about the same on the, uh, on the eastern side, so maybe 240, 250 square feet of uh, asphalt would be lifted off. Basically, we'd probably just reach in and, and scrape it off mm -hmm. with the uh, with an excavator. Um, I'm not even sure he would have to, you know, go into the into the buffer zone with the actual machine to uh, yeah to get it off. Uh, John, that that small building that was removed was entirely outside the buffer zone as well. Correct? Yeah. 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 Well, it looks like a win win as far as the whoever going to pave your driveway is going to use space and trying to use it to pave over mm -hmm. the driveway. So unless the driveway is going to be covered. Um, I guess, commissioners, what do you think about um, a non-necessary um, disturbance, permanent disturbance um, in the buffer zone, uh, in part balanced by the improvement represented by removing an impervious um, surface area? Is there some... Uh, Sarah, is, it, is there a, a ratio that uh, is, is normally has to be equal to um, the the improved square footage has to be improved uh, has to be equal to or greater than the uh, new disturbance? Yeah, I mean, typically the the commission weighs it more as a as part of the notice of intent process. And John and I have discussed the possibility of you know maybe making a case for this through an NOI. And you know, examining this area back here a little bit more closely, and talking about maybe removal of invasive species or something like that. But just in the interest of time, uh, he was hoping to move forward with an RDA. Um, and with with the decision that the commission made at the last meeting, 
with the smaller septic system that unfortunately wasn't appropriate for yeah. construction. Yeah. It seemed a little bit easier, but you know, it's getting to be a little bit more substantial now. So the, there, there are some, a... there are some opportunities for improvement. I think back here, it's it just hasn't been presented as part of the application. And this is an RDA, not an NOI. So uh, <laughs> there will be a further opportunity for us to evaluate whether there's really enough improvement to justify the disturbance. Yeah, I mean, what the commission would need to um, need to find here is that the the work, although it's in the buffer, doesn't have any uh, negative impact or alteration on the resource area itself. How would we know if there is a real potential for negative impact? Case by case. <laughs> yeah, with, with the buffer zone projects, the state doesn't help commissions out any with uh, with evaluation of you know, potential impacts in the scope of them. Sounds like it's a positive improvement of the property. I, I looked at it today and uh, <laughs> I think that would help. Yeah, I mean, it's not a virgin site. By no, it is not. It's, it's very north. Various things over the years. There aren't any large trees there Um No, but there's some large tree stumps that need to be taken out. I guess the uh, um, the uh, I guess my my sense is uh, feeling relatively comfortable that because we will have in essence another bite at this apple um, uh, when an NOI gets submitted um, that we'll have an opportunity to say all right well is 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 uh, the total improvement on the whole of the uh, uh, buffer zone um so balanced. an NOI would only be submitted if the if the commission found that that this work required an NOI uh, so what john is is asking for ah, is, I say, okay. with this application is um yep, yep. is it is for a negative determination but it's up to that's right that's right you got okay got you thank you yeah, I'm still on the beach. Yeah, to, to wrap this up tonight, possibly. So, uh, uh, Paul, you've vi visited there. I had not. Um, I've been away. So, uh, your what's your sense of the? Uh, uh, you, as I heard you describe, you felt like, oh yeah, this represents something of improvement so that we could be in the position to um, issue a, a negative determination that yes, some of the work is in a protected area, but it's not gonna have a negative impact. That was my impression in looking at it. It's a, as I said, it's a pretty gnarly looking area. And um, it, it seems to me that this plan would just represent a, a complete improvement of the whole area. Yeah, I took a look at it too yesterday, and um, while I'm not as experienced as the rest of you, I you know I I would tend to agree. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> that's helpful, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, so you can you can clearly see the um the place where I I don't know what they call it a drive. Yep. People lined up to hit the golf balls. Yeah, um, yeah. The house house would go here um yeah you know it's not and it's not delineated on the plan but it, yeah. it seems clear that a portion of this does extend into the it, at least the buffer zone and uh john are there any trees to be removed at all as part of this plan um no we removed you know within the um the building envelope uh some of the pine trees there weren't many. They were they were pretty small, up to six inches. Um, you know, there were a few, probably ten inches. They grow fast, um, but um, you know nothing too great. Certainly not you know big tall ones. Um, and, uh, would any trees be removed within the buffer? For I know the reserve area wouldn't be constructed at this point, but for the septic system, it's. Uh, I think this one's no. more just as a, okay. Yeah, no, so whatever um, 
whatever you guys saw in the, you know when you went there it, that's that's it for tree removal yeah 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 the excavator site looks like it's been there for years <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah it's been sitting there waiting been waiting to go. Yeah. a lot of weeds growing around it yeah right Sarah, yeah. how old was that um, aerial view? Uh, aerial is really new. It's uh... oh, really okay. Because the home is, is looks like it's under construction across the street. Yeah, it's completed. The, there's a bright blue house across. Uh, the yeah, it was uh, March of last year. Oh, wow! So the excavator's been moved in since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, commissioners, uh, any further uh, discussion? Um, we didn't have trouble with it the first time it was presented to us. Yeah. Nope. The larger set. Yeah, and, and potentially the you know if the commission could require some plantings within the, the buffer zone to to make a clear demonstration that it's being improved. Yeah. If you're on the cusp of you could see from the photo the extent of Asphalt. So, someone want to make a motion? Propose that we uh, have a negative determination for this project. And what box would we check, Sarah? That would be... Um, Negative uh, three. three buffer zone only. Yeah, a second motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? And any mm -hmm. additional conditions about removal of that asphalt area or additional plantings? It seems built into the project, correct? Yeah, I think didn't the plan specify removal of all the asphalt? Mm. We can add that as a condition just to be mm. sure. Yeah, let's make sure. Okay, so let's add that as a condition. Mm -hmm. um, any other conditions that seem warranted? If not, all in favor. All right. Sarah? Roll call vote. Mason? Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. All right. Unanimous. Good enough. Thank you. Thanks, John. Great. Um, Thank you then... all. Are we... I'm done. We're done. We're done. I'll get you. I'll, I'll send you. I didn't send you the paperwork for the other one because I knew you didn't need it, but I'll send you the yeah. determination for this one. Okay. Thank you all for your time. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Um, and Sarah, do we have other? Um... Uh, so, we, a couple other super quick things, but we do need a formal continuation of the. Crosspath Road NOI until August 24th. Oh, that's right. 530. Someone want to move to continue the uh, Crosspath Road uh, case? Will they want the next meeting or is it just to a future I, meeting? I didn't. I think he disappeared into the wilderness before he could respond to my email. So if, if he's not available for August 24th, we can continue it again. Yeah, okay. Good. So motion to continue um, to the 24th and then that may continue again if uh, that's not realistic for the applicant. Yeah, so so, okay, I'll second it. Maiden seconded. All in favor, Sarah? All right, and roll call vote. Mason? Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. All right, unanimous. Um, and then two other items, um, actually three, request for certificate of compliance at 34 Dewey Court. Uh, so the commission may remember that you issued an order for construction of additional residential units on this parcel. Uh, this sort yeah. of just backs up to the, the Lyman neighborhood by Smith College. Right. Um, right, right. 
there was a lawsuit, the project didn't move forward, property is recently sold, so the applicant has requested a, that the commission issue a certificate to close this out. So that would be an, an invalid since the project never begun. So it never, never proceeded, so it's yeah. just uh, we're issuing um, an invalid um, certificate of uh, compliance. Someone want to make a motion to that effect? Move. And a second? I'll second it. Made and seconded. Further discussion? If not, all in favor? Mason? Roll call. Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. Right. Unanimous. Um, and then um, Jen's not here. She's traveling, but she had mentioned at a, a previous meeting that she wouldn't be able to continue as the commission's community preservation committee representative in the fall due to work and other commitments. Um, yep. So Kevin um, had so expressed some. I have volunteered. Feel interested. Um, <laughs> and so I need to be voted on, I assume. Yes. You're gonna love it. It's do I have to recuse? Do I have to recuse myself, or can I vote for myself to be? You you, you may vote for yourself. <laughs> okay. So tell you what, I'll make a motion, a chair motion, um, that Kevin be uh, uh, assigned as the commission's representative to the CPC. I will second that. Made and seconded. Any further discussion? Anybody else if you wanted to volunteer? I'm, Perfectly happy to uh, entertain. Been there, done that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it was it a lot. Well, of... it's. I think it's less time consuming. I just rotated off the tapestry board uh, in yeah. June, so I think that yeah. this is. Uh, as, as I talked to Janet, this sounds like this takes less time than the tapestry board did. So I, I'm coming out net uh, improved in my uh, free time. So this what is. What the heck is the tapestry board? Oh, tapestry oh. health systems. Uh, yeah, important. That's mm -hmm. a longer discussion, uh, but yes, uh, everything from uh, uh, needle exchanges to uh, medical care for all kinds of disenfranchised people to uh, uh, sexually transmitted diseases, uh, all kinds of things. And it's uh, the State Department of uh, Public Health gives it about seven million bucks a year to do all this stuff for people that by and large get left out of the mainstream health system. Wow, I didn't, I didn't realize that they yeah. existed. It's yeah. a major yeah. planning. It, start, it originally was like 50 years ago or 40 years ago, this family planning of Western Mass and many things have been added into it um, since then. And now it's called Tapestry Health. Yep. But fine organization and I was glad to be part of it for a while but it's very time consuming and so uh, I I should on uh, the CPC be uh, <laughs> having a few weeks that we're that busy but not all year round so oh. I I'm happy to happy to do it so all in favor all right um Mason yes Paul yes David yes absolutely. and Kevin <laughs> I suppose yes <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's fun, Mason. I think it takes a little less time than it did when you were on it. Now that the procedures have been established, and it's a little bit more <laughs> smoothly running. Um, and last item uh, from me, at least, is th this is a new one. So the the commission has already approved uh, issuance of a conservation restriction to the Kestrel Land Trust on the Pomeroy property, which was recently acquired. Um, we used. Uh, a state local acquisitions for natural diversity grant and local community preservation act funding to uh, purchase the property both of those require uh, a conservation restriction held by a third party so the, the commission approved this when you initially approved the acquisition years ago at this point uh, but the state's executive office of environmental affairs has uh, changed their interpretation of what approval means so they are requiring a, a second vote uh, once they have approved the actual document. So this is essentially approving something that you've already approved and must approve. <laughs> Are lawyers involved? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, someone want to make a motion to approve Kestrel holding the, the conservation restriction um, on the Pomeroy land. Uh, I oh, wouldn't want to make a motion to this. Made by Paul, a second? Oh, second. Yeah. <laughs> by David. Uh, all in favor? 
right. Roll call, Mason? Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. Okay, unanimous. Great. And then that's it from me. Okay, right. I do have the one item. Um, our Wild Lands and New England publication came out. Um, it's very interesting reading. Certainly a lot better than that water report. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy smokes, I did. I was lost about two sentences in. Um, but this, this is much better reading. It's very important. Um, I'll bring a whole box of uh, copies down to um, Sarah tomorrow. There's a couple of executive reports if you don't want to read through the whole thing, but it's, it's a nice publication. Didn't cost me anything. They mailed it to me. Uh, I asked for 10 copies. Uh, it's, it's something really to consider. And, and, and it's almost like you want to go and ask Wayne to be a consultant on this. Oh. So good at getting getting land. Yeah. Essentially, it's getting land and almost no maintenance. Let it you know, revert back uh, yeah. to forest or whatever it wants to do. Yep. Um, and uh, it's it's an international thing too. No, especially with the uh, climate change coming, you know, mm -hmm. being a bigger impact, and this would create huge carbon sinks. Everything yeah. goes back to yeah, forestry yeah. Or, or meadows, wow. or whatever. Nice. Uh, Thank you, Mason. Sounds think, interesting. Yeah, for those of us who have been through the Keystone or Covers program or whatever. Mason, what, what time will you be dropping it off tomorrow? Because I'm going to be in town. Um, probably in the morning. And I, I, I'm not sure when City Hall opens. Um, I'd say probably mid-morning. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I'll take it with me on my vacation. I'm leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good where meeting, David. Where are you going? Oh, uh, uh, Chautauqua Institute and in South oh. Lake Chautauqua. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Be good. Excellent. Good. All right. Anything else? Just a quick question. Um, can everybody attend on August twenty fourth? I can. Yes. <laughs> he I says. I cannot. Uh, have you blown this one? But yes, I think so. No, I, I, I will be away and out of cell phone reach. Uh -huh. I should be able to. Well, that, uh, that's, a, that's a good uh, caution that um, we have tentatively scheduled that case, um, the Cross Path Road case. Um, and I don't know, if, Sarah, if there's any other cases on the docket for the 24th but uh, uh we there are there are uh a few um one of them will definitely require a site visit which i'll check in separately about but i'll um i'll send the the meeting invitation a little sooner i think jen is back by then and i believe randy is as well mm -hmm. so we should be good but i'll, I'll check good in. Okay. you only have cell phone coverage in your kayak <laughs> um i have Taken phone calls in my kayak, <laughs> but uh, I won't be uh, near any cell phone towers by design. And this <laughs> yes. good design too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. And a second. Second. We don't really need a roll call. For we just all adjourn. put our hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thanks. Adios. Thanks.